Hey. What? I'm, oh, you're, ru you're ruining my experiment, Slack. What? What experiment? Welcome back to Myth Busting. Today, we're going to be looking at XP. As we all know, XP is a lag machine. XP orbs are death when it comes to frames per second, but how do they affect the server? And are they actually that bad anymore? We're here, well, Slack, in 119. We are. We're not in 120. We Why are we in 119? We're in 119 because if I flick this lever here, you will see we get many, 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 many XP orbs. And as the more we get, the more my frames per second drop significantly, and they just collect there. As you can see by the number of entities on stream, we have have nearly 300 already. Yeah, that that's that's not how it works anymore, though. No, it isn't. But shh, shh we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. And when when you got trident killers and things like that before Skulk existed and all that sort of stuff, it just oh used God. to totally lag out your game. Your frames per second would drop. Uh, I have no idea whether this is bad for the server or not because I don't think the beta API thing that I built for that will work on here. But we know it was bad, right? We've all yeah. we've all felt the effects. Yeah, it's, we knew it was a problem. Bad. Lots and lots of entities yep. with behaviors and AI and stuff just getting yep. all sorts of problems. So there's like nine nine hundred and fifty. There we go, a thousand XP, just all sat there, causing problems, slowing down okay. the frames per second. But in the latest but, version of Minecraft, Slack, like, mm -hmm. go on, go on. Come on. They, they've they've now changed how XP works. It no longer is individual balls. They combine up. But we don't know how but, they combine, do we? No, we absolutely have no clue at all. And there's like no documentation. You've looked inside of the, what is it? The XP JSON files and yep. it tells us nothing. It tells us absolutely nothing. So I have come up with an experiment, Slack. I have Ooh, here I like experiments. an Etho mm -hmm. Hopper Clock with 64 items inside of that hopper. What we're yep. going to do is we're going to let this thing run by flicking that lever. When it goes across and comes back again, basically we've got a stack of items worth of it producing XP, XP orbs. Run. So yep. we'll know how exactly how many XP orbs that we get from that. Then we can collect those XP orbs, find out how much XP we get from that, and run exactly the same test in 1.20. There we go. Yep. So if I flick that lever again there, that's going to keep running until those 64 items have gone back from this hopper into that one. And we'll, yeah, we'll be able to do a fair test then. I've got no levels at all now. We have 510, 510 little XP orbs in there. And if I collect them all, I get uh, 19 plus little five little bars. Let's run it one more time. Just make sure we got a fair test. Well, we're going to get 510 again. That's what I'm interested to find out. We should do because it's all based on ticks. But this is Minecraft Bedrock Edition we're talking about. And we probably won't. Yeah. 508. No. <laughs> so almost, almost, almost exactly the same. And that's taken I us guess. down to 200 frames a second. Jeez. And how many levels did you get? 19 and one, two, three, four and a half bars. Yeah, so almost exactly the same. So yep. I think that's a relatively fair test. So now we should go to our realm in 1.20.12 yep. and, uh, and find out exactly how good XP is now. Oh, it's already started behind you. Yeah. It's already started behind me, Slack. Um, there's not 500. No, there isn't. In fact, in our testing Slack, our very, very, very short testing, yep. it doesn't ever seem to go over 24. But can you see the size of that XP orb at the front there, Slack? That, it's pretty mahusa. Occasionally yep. it'll jump up. I have seen it go as high as 31 before, but as they start compiling, it comes right down. And you'll notice my frames per second are not moving at all. Care. Yeah, I don't care at all. What I want to know is, though, how much can they combine if we leave it? And do we still get the same amount of XP? And there we go. It's well, stopped. And there are 13 orbs there, apparently, as opposed to 510. But will I get the same amount of XP? I don't know. Have you cleared your XP? Yeah. I got exactly the same amount. Nine and no five. Exact, 19 and five exactly. No way. We're going again. Are we going to get exactly yeah. the same thing again? And are we going to get the same number of orbs? So we had 13 last time. And there we go. There are 14 this time. Oh, no, nope, 13. 13. There we go. What did you get? Uh, 19 and 5. Well, there you go. So you get the same amount. Now what I want to do is I want to know, before we do Pride and Killers and things like that, how long does an XP orb live for? Does it have five minutes or does it die before that? And... 
how many XP? Because I mean, we we sat and watched this just go for a while, right? And yeah. the never the number of entities never went up. So I think let's say an XP all blues for five minutes. If we run okay. it for a minute, and then we run it for five minutes, and the entities are the same, is it actually going to give us any more XP? Okay. Let's throw a button on there, and then make one XP orb. Two. Oh, we're going to do that. Okay. Three. Three. Did they join together? Nope, not yet. I'm going to guess five. I bet they go up in fives. Is that going to all Minecraft, combine and become Minecraft's one? A, Minecraft's a game of like stacks of like 16 or something like that. So I'm going to guess it's going to be different. But that's True. Cool. Maybe it's in tens. Nine. Ah, oh. when I did 14, it went to 13. What? And again. So maybe there's a maximum number it'll let there be. Yeah, because every time I do 14, it goes back down to 13. <laughs> this is confusing. Okay, all right. That little stack of items there is storing how much XP is in there. And that's all right, because check this out, Slack. If I throw this redstone okay. down on the floor, okay, we have one yeah. item. Throw two yeah. down. We have two. Oh, I need to be in get creative. But now, do you see how it's one? But it's yeah, visually it's two. Item. Okay? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So if I keep throwing these down, they will combine together... More and more and more. Now it's just one. But you can only yep. see four there. But I know mm. there's a lot more than four. Let me throw the whole stacks within. Yep. So basically, item stacks or items loose on the ground can combine into a maximum number. And that looks right because I had a stack and two. Yeah. But it's only two yep. items there. But that one yep. that's got four in knows that there's 64 items there. And if I get them back, 64 and two. So I'm assuming the XP thing is doing the same thing. So my question here is, all those are going to produce one. Yeah. So it's going to start off as 13, and then it's going to go to one in theory then, right? Uh, no, because the I think it will stay as 13. But I think if we did another 13, it would go down to 13 still. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, well, well one went one, to you. One, yeah, one went to me. Yeah. All so, right. Let yeah. me just make the command block, the uh, the barriers a little bit higher. So 13 pieces, stay in 13 pieces, not combining. Not combining, okay. Yeah. Another 13? Yep. And these will combine down, I bet, to 13. There you go, 13. So how many 13s does it take? before we see an increase i don't think we will based on what we did earlier and there's on, only really one way to find out we need to find out the lifetime of an xp but can you see the bigger now they're all bigger so let's let's just summon one over here and then we'll be patient we'll time it out we'll figure out how long it's going to live for right it's still alive slack i know we're a minute 18 in okay so it's more than a minute then eight nine ten wow Ooh. look at that five minutes on the dot exactly five minutes so okay let's run a command block just spamming them in for five minutes then and see how much xp we get now will the first ones despawn i don't know because they're combining this is weird good point if there's only going to be 13 of them there well let's run it for a minute 58 59 time okay i have stopped it and they are going down to 13 exactly really? 13. i did not expect that so let me just figure out how many orbs that was with my handy calculator that we was 20 ticks a second for 60 seconds so that should be 1200 xp orbs there into 13. so that means each one of them divided by 13 each one of those is holding 92.3 xp that's i don't know how to react to this one so let's run it... it now for five minutes Okay, so you're going to clear that? Uh, I want to I want to get those first. So I got 28.3 levels there. Go go with the even four minutes. That gives us a minute to make sure, and the math would add up to roughly the same. Oh, see, they just went small again. Yeah. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, four minutes is up exactly. We are going down to wow. 13. Uh, I got 48 levels almost exactly. So four minutes times 60 is 240 seconds times 20 is 4,800 ticks. That was in 13, which means each one of those held 369.23 XP per orb. Now, before we do the five slash six minute one, I want to do a three minute one because they were massive. Okay. Yep. And then they right. shrank again. 
Right. All right, so resetting the stopwatch. So I just found minecraftxpcalculator.com slack, and I've just put in that I got 48, uh, 40, 4,800 or 4,800 XP levels, and that does say I should get 48 XP, which is exactly right. what I got. So that was right. Three, two, one, stop. So this is a three minute test. Look at the size of those compared those to the size massive. of the other ones. But I only got 43.4 levels. Three minutes times 60 is 180 seconds times 20 is 3,600 XP. And I got 43 levels. Let's go to this website. 3,600 XP is 43 levels. So it's right. Okay. What should a six minute test net then? Six times 60 is 360 seconds times 20. It should be 7,200 XP, which then relay, uh, basically works out as 55 levels. Okay? Okay. So let's so do this. So if we get 55 levels at six minutes, then these keep combining and reset the timer. If you get less, then at five minutes, they're starting to nuke something. Yes. And they've gone small again. So we must be yep. over three minutes now, are we? Yep. These are the stages of XP, but you can see when they got to this one, they just didn't bother adding in any bigger sizes. They basically no, got they... to that and thought, well, we're probably never going to get that much XP combined, so there's no point in adding any. So once they get above that level, they just <laughs> they stay shrink. at that one. Yeah, they shrink down to that one, and it's a universal. Three, two, one, stop. Okay. Uh, it's going to go down to 13. It yep. is, and I get... 55 levels and nearly 56. They're, they're... So the despawn time is totally re like removed when they start combining together. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. How, 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 how does that stack? It'd have to be indefinite. Yeah, it's got to be. They're, they're not just going to go, oh, well, there's too many in here. Let's delete it. Unless it's like beyond a ridiculous number. 7,200 XP divided by 13 ubs. Each one of them was holding 553.8 XP. I kind of want to edit that uh, that file now. <laughs> I don't know what to say to this. <laughs> okay, we have numbers on our XP ubs now and something interesting is happening. They start at yep. one, which is how yep. much XP each one holds, right? Yep. Then yep, they yep, combine yep. to twos. Yep, Com there's there you two. go. Yep, but then twos. it jumps to seven. <laughs> what? Okay, so it totally okay. misses out three, four, five, and six. Then it goes to eight, but now they've gone to fives, look. So the picture sizes go from left to right. But we're going one, two, seven, eight, five. Yeah, it's totally all over the place. It's not even like it's going up to down or anything like that. Now it's gone to six. Many, 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 many XP. We're gonna, how long till we get to the double digits? What's the highest value we get from this? We've got an 11 there. Oh, 11. Yeah, there you go, 12. Next, we should see 13. Yeah. And it should cap out at 16, in yeah. theory. It looks like the first ones are just all a little borky. Yeah. Nines. What? So it went 12 to 9. That's back to 10 again. Did we have 10 before? Maybe we didn't have 10 before. Maybe we just no, went 11, no, 12. Uh, or did it yeah, just go I don't 12? Think we had 10. It went 12. It went 12. What a weird game. Do you think it's a bug that they're in the wrong order? It just seems so odd. Well, 15. <laughs> 10 to 15. Okay. What's going to be the last number? Is it going to be 16? Because this sequence makes no sense. 1, 2, 7, 8, 5, 6, 12, 9, 10, 15. I wonder if this is affecting the server in any way. No, not even slightly. No issue for the server at all. And we know that the uh, frames per second is fine. XP's fixed slack. Myth busted. Yeah, yeah already <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Okay, let's stop this then. Should we see how many XPs we get from it? <laughs> yeah, if you... Yeah. Oh, there's a few floaty ones. Come on, guys. This way. Come on, this way. That's it. Okay, so... Oh, we're uh, down to 13 again. Wow. Oh, 140 wow. to 154 <laughs> levels. <laughs> 154 levels. Let's get serious, Slack. I was going to say, should we get the Marcus pack? But I don't think we need to. I think we know this is going to be a disaster for a phrase. Yeah, this is going to... The, the, yeah, this, this is going to be bad. There's nothing to do about that. We, we need numbers, not frames at this yeah. moment in time yeah and i think your idea of teleporting them all to one position would have been much better than this but uh not to worry are you ready it's fine 
Yeah, let's go. Let's see if we can get a bigger than 50. Oh my goodness, bigger than 15. Jeez. What does the game think? It doesn't like it. Uh, it thinks. It doesn't like it, it at all. I'm picking it up. 2,933 entities at Slack. Yeah, pretty solid 3,000 entities. I can see F15 in there. The whole thing's just going so slow, though, because the ticks per second for the world are just ridiculous. All right, so there's a metric ton there. You think we should shut it off and let it combine, see if we get anything bigger than a 15? Uh, yeah, can do. Hey. And is it going to go down to 13? There's a 10 there. There's, uh, it's the same 14, but I think that's because... Can you see this number 5 uh, floating yeah, here? I see this number 5 up here, yeah. We see how much XP I get, Slack. Yeah, go for it. Oh, did I just pick it all up? Yep. I got 200. Okay, so it appears that 15 the max. It appears there's numbers in that that doesn't get used then. Yeah, yeah. It seems that, that not everything on that, that picture is actually being used at all. Weird, but okay. Okay, Slack, next test. Now that we know mm -hmm. that XP is not at all laggy unless there are several million of them on the screen at once, we need to know, do the different sizes have different hitboxes? Because according to the documentation, they don't. Right. So, so if we stand on this side and get some in there yeah it's all gonna come over here yeah so we're at just ones and stuff right now yeah Do okay they? well we bumped up to eights do the eights come through yes yes they do okay all right okay Let's see if the bigger numbers decide to come through there or not yeah i think they will because according to the documentation the each xp orb has an uh a hitbox side of a quarter of a block by a quarter of a block so okay, so they're up to fives now. Yeah. Which they go from eight to fives. I'm going to go over here. Hi, guys. Yeah, no problem yeah, at all. Yeah. I think maybe what you were seeing before, because when they float in water, they're obviously yeah, pushed they, up. Yeah. And they yeah, won't be able to get you. under. So, yeah, look. Yeah. There's your problem. Wow. I wonder if the water level was a bit higher at that point. If I uh, just make this water a bit higher up. Yep. There. It looks like it's getting stopped then. Looks like it. Let's we'll see. What yeah. We, yep. Yeah. So that can't get through now. It's almost like you can filter the XP then in a way. Yeah, but it's not by the size of the XP, is it? No, it's just by the. No. So, so with stair blocks, then you said that they don't go through stair blocks anymore. If I was to put a stair block there like that, they'll come through at the bottom because they can, because that's. Yep. Oh, maybe even not. Like their hitbox is going to line have to line up perfectly to do that because they're okay. a quarter of a block by a quarter of a block. But we just saw All some right. come through. All right, so what if we did this? Hold on, yeah. yeah. I think you'd have to get them in exactly the right spot and exactly the right level of water to do that. I bet if you push that back a couple of blocks, uh, maybe one more. Yeah, it's just the, the hitbox is too close, I think. I think it's got, it, unless it lines up absolutely perfectly, which is not right. going to because there's too many of them bouncing around. Like, if you would put a fence post there, the same sort of thing should... Or a wall, the same sort of thing should happen. Hmm. If I swap those out for that, it can go past the fence post. But what if we put a wall in? Okay, they're shooting right over the wall, it looks like. It does look like that, doesn't it? What? XP no care about wall? <laughs> well, that's good, because that means you can just use a wall in your yeah. in your farm <laughs> and the xp can come through absolutely fine all right solid connected wall give me give me give me block of some kind yeah they are going to bunch up on the other side so you'd have to stand at an angle but yes all right so this would block mobs if yeah. we did hold on that would that would really keep mobs at bay lots and lots of things fathomed out but last test then will a trident killer stop the xp bunching up correctly now the issue here is with this sort of trident killer there's not really any way you can get the xp out unless you have like a gap above so if i put a wall on top of that observer there like that that should stop mobs and things getting out now what we've got to do is summon a bunch of mobs in these things oh and i need to put two tridents in these days don't you because you get the hit on the pull and the push okay so once we got a bunch of uh xp in there we'll kill off the creeper oh the creepers will die anyway won't it I yeah, don't know yeah, if the, yeah. the Throne Trident counts as an entity or not. I'm assuming it probably does. And we'll see how many entities we get once they're all dead. We we'll get, get in. Yeah, 18 plus, I guess, four entities. 
No, five entities. Why is the five? Have you got two, three tridents in yours? So I could have thrown three in yeah. mine, or you've thrown three in yours. Yeah, but... somebody stunned three. Here, let me pick these up. Yes, it still says three. Oh, there's one here. Look, a little bit of XP just there. There we go. That's what it was. Yep. Yeah, because I just threw these two tridents over here. Yep. Okay. So the water-based trident then had absolutely no problem with the XP combining together. So that's not a problem. What about this one? And while we're here, should we see if this has any effect on the server? That's a good point. Not one bit. Not one bit. And it looks very much like that XP is nicely all joining together. Yeah, it is. Yep. So good. XP then. Totally fixed. Yeah, yeah. it just has to wait for that piston to retract. Yep. But it comes out on that piston retract I'm, now, which is I'm good. I'm just wondering if it would be better if we had the wall there and the fence okay. post. Where's the... I ain't got a fence post. The other side? There? Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there. Like that. That might give it a bit more room. I guess All if you right. stood here... That's not so bad. That's coming out okay. I'm assuming that will prevent a, an entity coming through. Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't. The XP's coming through fine. Yep. I wonder if, like, a baby something could get through there. What is It's the baby zombie piglins that tend to escape, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> so the XP's definitely coming out. Oh, oh um, there we go. Um, there's yeah. one over here, too. Uh, yeah, hmm. yeah they, they, they can yep. get through that gap. Yep. But can they get through the fence post gap? Oh, I see babies there, but they're not getting out. So they're not going to get killed there. No. What about a bit of dripstone? Will entity flow past a bit of dripstone? Will they be able to get through there? Baby is, yep, babies yep. are out, yep. Okay. Uh, if the XP will come out, or if it sinks in the powdered snow, then it won't. Oh, well, the baby's in the powdered snow. Well, yeah, if you're going to do that, then you don't need that there, do you? You can just do that. Oh, uh, yeah. If it comes through the powdered snow. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming through the powdered snow. I, I mean, I just tell. saw some come through. Oh, there's some. Yeah, it's, it's a little slower. I guess it falls through, slow through powdered snow, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're still getting that bunch of XP just in the middle, though, that's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's the water. So you do need to be closer to draw it out, really. 